Le dimanche matin, on change de décor au puce de Saint-Ouen, la course au trésor. Holy hootenanny, looking like John Bon Jovi. I'll tell you this right now. I'm kicking it old school. I used to have long hair back when I could grow hair, but you know what? That's what they make Rogaine for and Miracle Grow. Fouyakasha! Now look up here. Our word for the day, we're going to talk about neologisms. And you're like, I have never heard that before in my life. Well, you know what? About 15 minutes ago, neither did I. So, we're going to be having some real talk right now. What in the blue moon of Kentucky is a neologism? <laughs> it's just a fancy, schmancy, rooty booty, nerdy way of saying new words. Yes, if you want to get real nerdy with it, let's go back to the prefix, which is neo, which means new, that's a prefix. Then let's shift over here to the root, logos, and you're like, that's not what it says. It doesn't matter, that's your root, baby, the root are on fire. Logos, it's a Greek root word that means speech. So, new speech. Neologisms, new speech. Look, no need to get all rooty booty tooty with it. Look, it is what it is, cuz. So, there's three mechanisms, three ways we can create these neologisms, these new words. How can you do that? Well, you can get out the clippers and start clipping. That is when you shorten words. If you want a, a concrete example of how that's done, take the word application. Did you know? Think about your iPhone, an app. That's not the real word, cousin. It's application, but we just got lazy. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. So, let's shift on. Blending. So, what does it mean to blend? I, I use a blender, throw it in a blender, but here's the thing. You can add the meaning of two words together, and you can blend it and make you a new word. Also build, that's taking roots and affixes, like this jabroni word right here, neologisms. Mm -hmm. now, look, we don't need to get fancy schmancy with it, but we now know, because we now know our prefixes and our root words, we now know that neologisms is just a fancy pantsy way of saying new words. So, what are some other new words? One of my favorite words that I frequently use is bromance. You know, they're kicking it with the bromance. Look, back in my day, like I'm an old geezer or something, but back in the 90s when I was kicking it in elementary school, look, bromance, I would have looked with a puzzled look on my face. Oh, bromance. I know romance, but what is bromance? Bromance, you take dude man bro. Bro means that's your homie, that's your main dude. And then you take the romance word and then you kind of clip it, you take that row off and exchange it with bro, and there you go, you have bromance. Now, Influenza is a serious sickness. It's unfortunate, it's a seasonal thing, but you know what, when you have the flu, you don't feel good. But if you have affluenza, the word affluent means wealthy and rich. But if you have affluenza, that means you can't do something because you're too hoity-toity, too rich, too wealthy, too fat, come on now. Affluenza, that's kind of funny. Now, here's the thing. When I was in elementary school, I, I revered the word, I revered the planet, Pluto. It had, a, it had a designated space in my heart, in the solar system. And all of a sudden we had these scientists who apparently are creating new words for us, like neologisms. They decided that Pluto just wasn't going to cut it. And they declassified it into this word right here, a dwarf planet. Why are you going to do that to a planet? Look. If you have the choice of being kind or being right, just use kindness. Don't, don't, don't cut down my main planet, Pluto, down to a dwarf planet. But look, the word dwarf planet didn't exist when I was a child. And look, and I, look I, I'm, I'm a young guy now. Here's another one. What in the world is clickbait? Clickbait. When, you know, you're, you're reading a news article about, you know, what's going on with our, you know, our president and his, uh, his trade deal with this country. But then all of a sudden you see a little floating advertisement that is giving you uh, something about, hey, there's free fireworks down the road, which is clearly not true. It's clickbait. You've been trolled because clickbait is, you know, it, it's someone that's trying to... Uh, bait you which is like if you think about fishing throwing out the bait and then click they want you to click on that for whatever reason so clickbait there you go fist bump what in the world is a fist bump if you really want to get real honest about it you would have told me at nine years old to give me a fist bump i, I would have thought that was like a sickness or something fist bump i'm sorry like i'll pray for you no fist bump you take your fist and you bump them fist bump hey it's not very complicated now 
binge watch. If you would have talked to me at nine years old, talked to me about binge watching. I would talk to you about Baywatch or something. I, I wouldn't understand, but binge watch, since the, we've had the invention of Netflix, they release, uh, they release these things all at one time. So uh, they, that's called binge watching, okay, or binge release. That's gonna wrap it up. I have nothing else to give you, but that neologism give you a different way of looking at word. Think about that word blame. That's a neologism. Why? Because you know what, just a few years ago, no one knew what blame was. But Merriam-Webster, a popular dictionary company, they sure enough had to add the word bling to the vocabulary list that's within the dictionary. Why? Because bling, hey, that's what people use now. Hey, if you have showy jewelry, clothing, or personal accessories, <laughs> often the very expensive variety, you've got bling. If you're in the 1980s and 1990s, you come across the word e-reader, you're like, what? You know, I've come across this word a time or two. Crowdsourcing. Well, that word didn't exist until very recently. Crowdsourcing is a way of utilizing the public and utilizing social media to gather funds to fundraise for a specific cause. Here you got something called a carbon footprint. What in the world? A carbon footprint, now that we're very eco-conscious, we're worried about uh, unfriendly gases being emitted into the atmosphere and causing global warming. Well, a carbon footprint is just an accountability measure to really pay attention to how much waste you're really causing that is causing the earth to heat up. You know, you're with your friends, and one doesn't look like he feels so good, and he, he says that he's gassed. What in the world does that mean? There's no need to call the whamulets. Your friend is just drained of energy. I know what a helicopter is, and I know what a parent is. What exactly is a helicopter? Well, that's a parent that is exaggerated and overprotective in their relationship with their offspring. Have you ever been photobombed? I think it's quite funny. <laughs> when you photobomb, that means to troll a posed photograph unbeknownst to the intended recipients.